Hi, um, I'm Debbie Nutter, and we're a much smaller organization based out of Massachusetts. We're just in New England, and we have um, 1,700 units of affordable housing all over New England. A long time ago, in 2003, we bought one of our largest developments, and it was a HUD preservation. Well, we bought, we paid off the HUD mortgage, and because we did that, the residents were all given um, preservation vouchers. And we approached the housing authority, where the local housing authority, trying to get them to think outside the box and figure out how we could sign our residents up for, um, get our residents linked to their FSS program. We'd pay for the coordinator time, because I knew that was gonna be huge on them, but that didn't work. So we've been watching and watching this and trying to figure it out. We have service coordinators at all of our properties. We don't buy a property unless we can build a community room if there isn't one there, so that we have space for our residents and places to provide programs for them. We've run DEG, uh, GED programs and CNA classes and connected people with um, courses and everything else. And so I was reading a local paper one day probably three years ago now, and saw an article about Compass Working Capital and what they were doing with the Lynn Housing Authority, which is the next town over. So we connected, set up a couple meetings with Compass and um, spent about a year putting a program together. They looked at the demographics of our properties and chose two. One is a Section 8 property in Willimantic, Connecticut and one is in Gloucester, Mass, straight tax credit, but lots of residents with vouchers. So um, we approached our board two years ago and came up with a budget of about $250,000 that we'd need to pay for Compass Working Capital's work at the two different properties and be able to match resident savings, not knowing that we were that, um we were gonna have such luck and such great results through Danielle's work at um, HUD in Washington and be able to have this um, FSS program get launched. But So we asked our board for the money and asked them if we could um, invest in our residents. And our board agreed and um, told us to go ahead and do it. And we've been doing it and We've had a couple graduates down in um, Willimantic now that um, got some HUD match money. A woman bought a house for the first house in the family. The family had never owned a house before. And in Gloucester, we've had a few graduates. Um, and we've actually successfully approached the Gloucester Housing Authority now, who's one of the voucher providers, and they're gonna let us link our residents to their FSS program. We'll still pay for the compass and the coordinator time, but um, they'll let our residents sign up for it. So, um, and we're looking, Mary Ann, our director of development and I are looking into funding sources to be able to provide the coordinator time and money at other Section 8 properties so we can get the rest of our properties signed up for um, FSS. And it's just been wonderful watching the faces and um, going and meet these people and deliver checks. And, you know, a few people have moved out of the property. One down at the tax credit property isn't um, income eligible anymore. She connected with a better job. And it's, it's just been wonderful watching these people that didn't have much hope turn their lives around. And... Um, really, you know, become very successful in their own lives, so. De Debbie, let me ask you the same question that I asked Aaron. Um, uh, you know, what is, in your view, what's the number one reason or the number two or three reasons that owners should offer, uh, uh, should think about offering FSS programs to their residents? Well, we've been offering service coordinators since we started. We didn't start without one. and. Um, just connecting residents to ways that they can, um, you know, get, there's, there's so many of them that are stuck on a cliff because they get a job and then their rent goes up and then they lose their health insurance and then they do this and then they do that and then they quit their job 
So the rent goes back down and they get free medical care and they get free food and free everything else. And it's just watching and you don't have a success everywhere, but just watching the successes and seeing, being able to show somebody that yes, you can, you can do it. And if you really, really try and, and in the, now with FSS, their rent's not going up, it's going in a savings account and you can, their credit's being repaired through Compass's efforts and they can see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and they're gonna be able to, you know, get out and make a living wage and, you know, send their kids to college, go to college themselves, buy a car because they actually are getting a real paycheck. It, it's just, it's, that's what we do and that's what we're all about. 